Are you ready? Yes, here we go. <laughs> God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above. Yes, we're meeting in the basement. That's where we're practicing at. So later on, 
later on they came into the group and it started growing and it started getting powerful. And I was singing in a, in a contest over at a year and a half ago over at Fireland's Idol. And they just see this in Fireland's Idol. They have the different age groups, so the young kids, and then they have the teen, and then they have the, the adult group, and then they have the seniors, which is what I was in. So, yes. So I'm sitting there, and I've got this young lady sitting beside me that looked like she was a nervous wreck. And if any of you know me, I'm going to just talk to her, whether I know her or not, okay? So we sat there, we ended up having a blast. We were making fun of the other singers and all kinds of stuff like that. So, so after that, I went up to, I, I met her mom and dad after that, and I said, we have a group. They really looked at me like I was some funny old man, you know? And they, yeah, they still do every now and then. This is their mom and dad, right? This is Olivia's mom and dad sitting here doing sound for me. So I had to hope it, not just to get Olivia. But there was no answer at that time. And we went on down the line, and we, Olivia and I sang against each other at, what show was it? The Country, Colgate Country Showdown. So we sang against each other, and after that, I met up with them again, and I said, look, guys, I said, you know me now. We sang against each other. We talked a little bit. We have this group. She came, and that's, God just brought us together, and it is, I couldn't ask for more. Uh, we're, a, we're a very close-knit family now, and they're probably over there talking about me, but, no. right, hey. So I just want to tell you that to have them here and to see the different people in the group go through problems. Um, I know that you see Olivia's dad here is wearing a neck brace. I'm going to embarrass him a little bit. But he was a very, very fortunate man, and he knows he was, that he had a bad truck accident not too long ago and actually broke your neck in two places, right? So, you know, we see families go through things, and, and as a group, we're there to hold each other up and do whatever we need to do. And they change my life every day. And that's why I picked the song I'm, I'm going to do now. Um, I just I just am so proud of them and, and am just so excited to have them in my life. And the song I'm going to do is called Who I Am Ain't Who I Was. Chesty, 
in forgiveness. I traded brokenness for love and death. Who I am and who I was. I still struggle, sometimes stumble. Every trial always me fumble. I've made mistakes. I want to rise above Still more sinner than the sin But I thank the Lord because Who I am and who I was Still more sinner than the sin But I thank which is a fantastic song. Uh, those are all in the making, but this brand new song here, we actually come across it, we did it for our Mother Day banquets that we did last week. And Patrick does the lead in this, does a fantastic job, and it's just a beautiful song. Just listen to the words to it. It's there. <laughs> Mama always got up early And she never went to bed till late And I never heard her complain About a family of eight There were times she should have been sleeping But late in the midnight hour She'd get down on her knees and you could hear her say, Lord, fill them with your power. Mama likes to burn the midnight oil down on her knees in prayer. If you asked her why she did it, she said she did it because she cared. Mama knew that Jesus was waiting when she fell by her rocking chair. Oh, I'm glad my mama was willing to burn the midnight oil in prayer. I got a family of my own Yeah, whenever the clock strikes midnight You will find me all alone That's when I start to call upon Jesus For His wisdom and His power Cause it seems that He loves to hear a daddy's prayer even in the midnight hour. Mama likes to burn the midnight oil down on her knees in prayer. If you ask her why she did it, she said she did it cause she cared. Mama knew that Jesus was waiting when she knelt by her rocking chair Oh, I'm glad my mama was willing To burn the midnight oil in prayer Years from now in my grown little girl Has a family of her own Will she kneel down and pray When the hour is late and pass 